Culinary Director of Point Leo Estate, Joseph, is joining me today to make me a very special dessert from your homeland, Spain. What are you making? Correct. Hey, Justine, we're making a burnt bash cheesecake today. Ooh. Very simple, very delicious. It is simple, but there's still a little bit of technique behind it to get that lovely crust. Mm -hmm. It's not like your typical cheesecake, is it? Because there's minimal ingredients mm -hmm. and there's no biscuit base whatsoever. Yeah, correct. Like it's a very simple yeah. recipe, but the, there is a couple of tricks that we will learn today that will make it special. Fantastic. All right, let's get started. Cool. Perfect. So we've got the cheese and the sugar first. Okay. We're going to start with this. So just cream cheese. Yeah. Have you brought that out of the, the fridge earlier? Yeah, it's very important that we have the cheese at room temperature. Yeah. Um, maybe before you want to start the recipe, just take it out of the fridge yep. like an hour ago or so. Yeah. And um, What happens if we don't? If you don't, it's just going to be a bit harder to mix with the sugar. Mm -hmm. Like uh, the higher the temperature of the cheese is, the easier it's going to be to actually mix all together. Okay. And actually it will help to cook it as well in the oven uh, because the, the temperature of the cheese, it won't be as cold. It's cold. And the, uh, it will just cook easier mm -hmm. and uh, faster as well. Fantastic. Perfect. So cream cheese, mm -hmm. sugar, anything else, else at this stage? No, for now. Mm -hmm. We just mix these all together. Okay, and we'll whip it until it's really smooth. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Well, we have the cheese and the sugar whipping in the machine. Yep. What we're going to do is we're going to prepare the mold. Okay. Um, very easy. This is the probably the first trick we're going to learn today. Mm -hmm. We just cut two squares of baking paper. Mm -hmm. And then what we do to them is just with your hand, squeeze them like this. And we cover the whole mold with it. Mm. So it's a good idea to scrunch it first so yeah. it can be really pliable. Yeah, scrunch it first because then it just falls inside yeah. into place really and this easily. Is quite a high um, freeform tin. That's also mm -hmm. about 20 centimetres. Yeah, this one is 20 centimetres. Yep. Um, I really like the, to use this, this, uh, this size of mold yes. uh, because it cooks really, really well and yep. fast and it just comes out beautifully. Fantastic. All right, this is nice and smooth now. Perfect. Now we can add the eggs, eggs. Uh, one by one. Okay, We've so... We've got four eggs here. So we don't need just the yolks or just the whites. The whole, whole egg goes egg. in. Yeah. It's... Yes. Such a great cheesecake where it's minimal ingredients, maximum flavour. Yeah, and minimum prep as well. Yeah. Like really, really fast to prep, even for a last minute dessert yeah, at home. absolutely. Yeah. And it's ingredients that usually have in the fridge as well. Okay. You know. And one by one I'll add them? Yeah, one by okay. one. The reason why we add them one by one is yep. so the mix can mix smoothly and everything is combined together. Yeah. And then while you're doing that, actually, mm -hmm. I'm going to measure the cream. Okay. We just need 150 mils. Let's you know see. with your cooking, Joseph, it's all about accuracy. Well, especially when we're making cakes. Yeah? Exactly. <laughs> I said, oh, let's just pour half of uh, uh, half of it in. You're like, no, 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 we're going to well, weigh it out. <laughs> I don't want to stuff it up. Not, exactly. not today. Not, not today. today. And then just slowly pour it in? Just slowly pour it okay. in. And you want to use thickened cream for this because it's got a little bit of gelatin in it. Done. Perfect. And the only step left is the flour. Okay. So it's a very small amount of flour. It's 20 grams only. 20 grams. 20 grams. Yep. And then... Just to hold the cake, to help the cake to hold together. Okay. Let's pour that in. How does it look? Looking good. Yeah, I think you've got it ready. It looks All great. Right. Turn that off. We can put it in the mold now. Love that. Great. Oh, so smooth and glossy. That's what you want. So I'll take the blade out. Yeah. Oh, nice. Look at that. Yeah, that looks good. It really looks quite liquidy. Oh, is this going to set? But it will, won't it? Yeah, but we will try to bake it in a way that is still a bit gooey inside. Mm. Uh, that's for me like what makes the difference of a good burnt Basque cheesecake when it's still a bit gooey. So the way we do it is we set the oven at 200 degrees yes. and fan forced and we bake it for around 20 minutes. And while it's cooking, we're gonna make a quick coulis mm -hmm. uh, with strawberries, uh, just strawberries and sugar cooked together. Sounds good. Oh, 
God, Joseph, this looks so good. I think it's ready. We've had to wait patiently for yeah. it to cool down, but now we can try it's it. It's important and part of the process, but yes. it's time to go for it now. Okay. So we just take it out of the mold. These molds are yes, just so easy, a lifesavers, yeah? aren't they? Yeah, it's so yep. easy. Wow, Look this that. looks incredible. And see it's slightly burnt on the sides. It's not even burnt, but it needs to have that darkness. That's Correct. the whole uh, point of the cake, to give it that really lovely caramel flavour. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, when it does come out of the oven, it's going to rise and then it's just going to slowly deflate. Mm. And of course, I've got a plate on standby. Oh. Thank you. Wow, that looks beautiful. It looks so creamy inside. And to finish this off? Yeah, this beautiful coolie that we made before, mm -hmm. just with strawberries. Put a little bit here on the side. Oh, wow. A bit on top. Yeah. And some beautiful Cape gooseberries that we bought today from Cape Chang, obviously. Like, whatever is available. Yes. Got some food to go with the cake. See, Joseph really beautiful. likes to show off. All of this great produce he gets down the morning to Peninsula. <laughs> These have a, a really nice, yeah. sweet, almost tart flavour yeah. to them, don't they? Yeah. And if you can get your hands on them, get them. Oh, mm. so really good. Beautiful. But Love enough them. about the gooseberry. That's it. Let's go into the cheesecake. It's all about the cheesecake. I'm going to go for the centre bit, which is the gooeyest part. Mmm. Mmm. Really when tasty. anyone says cheesecake, my ears <laughs> up. But when it's a Basque cheesecake, Made by the king himself, Joseph. You know it's going to Thank be good. You. I love that. Love it. So good. Thank <laughs> you.